given the function f of x is 2 times the absolute value of x minus 3, or the modulus of x minus 3 minus 4 for x belonging to a set of real numbers, sketch a graph of the function, state the range of the function, and then solve the equation f of x is 3 minus a half x. So we're going to draw this graph here without using any technology. So drawing our set of axes, don't forget to label x and y, we just draw the basic absolute value function, or the or y is equal to the modulus of x, which looks like that, which you should know. Right, the minus 3 bit in, means that we need to translate the this function 3, 0. So that means that this point here will go along 3 units, and every other point will move along 3 units. So we'll mark on 3, and this is the graph of y is equal to the absolute value of x minus 3. Then we're going to multiply this by 2. So that is a stretch parallel to the y-axis, scale factor 2. So that point stays put. This point will go to here. This point will now go to here. This point will go to here. This point will go to here. And then so on. We've got some rows of orange there. And we'll join that up and we'll label that as 2x minus 3, and this point here being 6. Right, and finally what we've got to do is take 4, so that means we're going to need to translate this graph by translation 0 minus 4, so everything moves down 4 units. So that will look like this. And here we get the graph that we wanted. So we've got y is equal to 2 times the absolute value of 2 times... Let's move that 6 out of the way. 2 times the absolute value of x minus uh, 3 minus 4. Right. Let's just now look at that. Uh, we've got to label some points here. So this is 1. This is 5. And this is uh, 2. So we've got all the, the main points of the graph on. Right, if we just now draw that graph out on its own, it will look like this. Okay, so that's the answer to part A. Now, but we now have to find the range of this function. So this the range is the values of y that you get out. So this point here at minus 4 is important. And therefore the range will be any value bigger than minus 4. So y belongs to all the real numbers, y greater or equal to minus 4. C, if we, now, uh, first of all, draw the line uh, y is equal to 3 minus a half x, we will see that there are two solutions that we have to find. Then. So if we solve, first of all, we consider this point here. All right, so this is the graph we need to solve. Okay, so we consider this point here at A. This bit here is where it's minus, so therefore we need to put a minus sign in front of this. So we get minus brackets, x minus 3 minus 4 is equal to 3 minus a half x, and we now solve that. So it's minus 2x plus 6 minus 4 is equal to 3 minus a half x. Taking the minus 2x over there and bringing the 3 over there, we're going to get 3 over 2x minus a half plus 2x. And then we've got 6 minus 4, take 3, which is going to be, give me minus 1. And then multiplying by 2 and dividing by 3, we're going to get that x is minus 2 over 3, which, which does correspond to the graph. We'll mark that on the graph. To find the other place here at B, we're going to have, we treat this as positive, so it's 2 times x minus 3 minus 4 is equal to 3 minus a half x. So it's going to give me 2x minus 6. Minus 4 is equal to 3 minus a half x. So that's going to give me uh, 5 over 2x. And then if we've got 3 plus 6 plus uh, 4, that gives 13. And therefore, x is going to give me 2 times 13, it's 26. Uh, and then divide by 5, so 26 over 5. 5.2, that looks about right on the graph. And therefore, we get two solutions. X is minus 2 over 3 and X is 26 over 5. 
okay and then if we want to look at this using something like GeoGebra this is what it would look like using uh, GeoGebra giving our two solutions here okay so this is a bit of video to show you how to uh, sketch um, a modulus function graph without any, any technology and then use it to solve an equation I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching